What's happening guys, welcome to our GH Tech TV and today let's compare Redmi 4 and Moto E4 Plus on the basis of design and build, display quality, performance, camera quality, sound quality, battery life etc. So make sure to watch this video till the end and also make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Complete list of specification and also buying links for both these phones are given in the description box below. So check them out as well. Alright guys, now Redmi 4 is available in three variants, one which comes with 2 gigs of RAM and uh, 16 gigs of inbuilt storage uh, which is priced at 7000 Indian rupees. Similarly there is a 3 plus 32 combination uh, which is priced at 9000 Indian rupees and uh, there is also a 4 plus 64 combination which is priced at 11000 Indian rupees as on date. On the other hand Moto E4 plus is available only in one variant uh, that is uh, 3 gigs of RAM plus 32 gigs of inbuilt storage and it's priced at 10,000 Indian rupees. Firstly guys, speaking about design and build, both are made up of metal, uh, both feel solid in hand and are in fact very sturdy to be honest. Moto E4 Plus is slightly heavy uh, because of that 5000mAh battery. It also has bigger footprint of 5.5-inch uh, while Redmi 4 is a 5-inch device uh, which makes it more comfortable to hold and uh, it's also not as slippery as Moto E4 Plus. Now Redmi 4 has its fingerprint sensor placed on the rear side while Moto E4 Plus has it placed on the front side. So to be frank guys both look and feel very premium but it comes down to what form factor are you looking for uh, whether it's a 5.5 inch or 5 inch. Now speaking with the performance I played Modern Combat 5 and Asphalt 8 on both these devices and I honestly felt that uh, gameplay was much smoother on Redmi 4 uh, which has Snapdragon 435 as processor uh, and Adreno 505 as GPU while on Moto E4 Plus the gameplay felt choppy uh, there were frequent frame drops and I also did notice occasional lags uh, here and there I would completely blame Moto for going with MediaTek 6737 instead of uh, Snapdragon 430 or Snapdragon 435 at this price point. Alright guys, now speaking about display quality, both have 720p HD panels. I felt Redmi 4's display to be sharp. Uh, it is slightly saturated and is warmer compared to Moto E4 Plus. So whites don't look pure white on Redmi 4. They are slightly warmer while on Moto E4 Plus uh, they look pure white. And uh, also Redmi 4 has better weaving angles in my opinion. On the other hand, I felt Moto E4's display to be slightly dull, off color. It had low saturation and as mentioned earlier, the weaving angles were not that satisfactory. Hence Redmi 4's display, even though slightly warmer, is a clear winner according to me. Now speaking about battery life, both gave me screen on times ranging from 7 plus hours to 9 plus hours. So both did well and both should last you for around like 1.5 days easily. It all depends on whether you are a heavy user or an average user but by and large speaking both are good in terms of battery life. Now coming to sound quality, I felt that sound quality was slightly better on Moto E4 Plus uh, when headphones were used uh, due to that Dolby Atmos and in terms of speaker quality, Redmi 4 was slightly louder and had a decent amount of bass as well. But as sound is a subjective thing, I'll leave that for you to decide. Here's the sample guys.
Now coming to camera performance, both did well in terms of daylight. Focusing was much better and fast on Redmi 4, while sometimes I had to tap on subject for Moto E4 Plus to focus. Uh, colors I felt were slightly better on Redmi 4 and uh, also images were uh, slightly brighter as well. When it comes to low light, I felt Moto E4 Plus did slightly better job with less dispersion effect, less noise. Uh, but as mentioned earlier, again you can see that colors were quite accurate on Redmi 4. In terms of flashlight performance as well, I felt Moto E4 Plus did a good job evenly lighting the subject. Now apart from these things guys, here are some things which Redmi 4 does better than Moto E4 Plus. Uh, first is it has all the necessary sensors including magnetometer and gyroscope uh, which are clearly missing on Moto E4 Plus. Second, it has an IR blaster through which you can control TVs, uh, ACs and other electronic appliances and uh, I definitely believe that it does come in handy at times. Third, MIUI is feature rich with some uh, awesome features like dual app, second space, a hidden folder and lots of shortcuts but uh, nonetheless you should be aware of the fact that you know over the years MIUI is known to become laggy uh, when compared to stock Android. Fourth you can record videos in full HD on Redmi 4 while you can record only in HD on Moto E4 Plus. Similarly guys here are some things which Moto E4 Plus does better than Redmi 4. Uh, first being that it has two SIM card slots and a dedicated SD card slot while Redmi 4 has hybrid SIM slot. Second, Moto E4 Plus has front facing flash uh, for taking selfies so it is helpful in ultra low light situations. Third, it runs on latest Android version uh, that is 7.1.1 uh, which is by and large stock Android which is certainly helpful in making the phone stay lag free over the years. So guys I believe I have put in a small effort in giving you overall picture of good and bad things of both these devices. Now which is good for you depends on your requirement and usage. So links for both these devices are given in the description box below. You can choose whichever suits your needs. So that's it guys. If you feel this video was informative, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and family. Follow us on Twitter at Archie Tech TV. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Most importantly, thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon.